Well, the title for today's video is Don't Look Too Close. Again, don't look too close. I want to start off with the quote. And that quote is, faith is the clear vision to see what's not here while preparing for it like it is here. This video is for people who feel like they're going through something right now and it's a little difficult for them. You don't understand the power of now and later. So now it may not look good for you, but it could be something brewing down the road, something coming down the pipeline that's going to be perfect for you. I think about it like fixing oatmeal. You can't just throw your oatmeal in a, in a pot and then boom, it's done. No, you have to let the water get warm first. Then when it's done, things can turn around quickly for you. So I want to go ahead and get into this video for for you again don't look too close one of the dangers of looking too close is if you only look at what's directly in front of you you run the risk of missing out on what's around you that could be important and that could contribute to what the vision is for example let's say you're reading a book and you're so focused on the words that are there so you're isolating every word you're making sure you don't miss out on anything you got the exclamation points all that stuff but the book has pictures in it too if you're only looking at the words, but you don't take time to look at the big picture, the big pictures, then you run the risk of missing out on something that's very important and crucial to the story. And I think we do that a lot of times in life. We're so focused on what's going on right now that we're not paying attention to what we're actually working towards. We're not paying attention on what we have coming down a pipeline. For example, I do real estate and Sometimes in real estate, it can be very frustrating because I am being introduced to people who are talking to me and they like come off as if they're ready to roll and they're ready to go right now. And I remember when I first started, I was so excited. Someone told me they're looking to buy, to sell or to invest or anything. I would just jump right on it. I'm like, hey, what's your budget? And I'm asking all of these questions. But the statistics say for every person that may introduce themselves to you, on average, it's seven to 12 months before a person is actually ready to make a move. There's so many things you have to consider. That person's family, when their lease is up, if they're buying, uh, if they have to move to a different location, if they're selling, you have to consider so many different things. But I was so focused on what's going on right now that I never paid attention to the longevity or the investment. Um, and so what happens is between the introduction and the closing of whatever the uh, assignment is, whether it's buying or selling or whatever it is, there's this process, there's this relationship building in between. And for a lot of us who are working on things, even if it's yourself, you get frustrated with the current version of yourself because you see the end result version of yourself. But the in-between is really the most important factor. If you get to know yourself in between beginning and end, you're always going to be able to pull from it, even if the circumstances are not always good. So a lot of times in life, we look at what's directly in front of us and we allow that frustration to guide us when that's not the end result. That's not the big picture. That's just what's going on right now. So I want to encourage you to stay focused on what's in front of you because that's important, but also give grace and hope and anticipation for what's coming down. Understanding that if you work your now moment correctly, your later moment will be greater. And it happens a lot. Sometimes we focus on the no's. Sometimes we even focus on the yeses. Sometimes we focus on the success. Sometimes we focus on the failures, whatever is directly in front of us. And all I'm asking you to do is not cut off the possibility of what could be right there behind what's directly in front of you. Just, just give and a level of openness to possibilities that are not immediate. Another reason you don't want to look too close is because looking too close can cause you to strain your eyes and straining your eyes can cause you to lose your vision. And I believe personally, that's the worst thing that can happen to a person. They can lose their internal vision. And it can be um, on a lot of different things. It can be on um, personal growth, on business matters, on spiritual matters, on relationship, on so many different levels. When you lose your own vision, you run the risk of having to submit to someone else's vision. Then they're going to take control. Essentially, they're going to have control over your life and you're going to have to be at the mercy of someone else. And I do think that submitting under someone else's vision, I think it does have its time and its place. That's necessary in some cases, but that should also 
be a compliment to who you are and who you're supposed to be, in my opinion. So I want to encourage you not to look too close um, and, and cause damage on your eyes or cause damage on your internal vision because you are, again, only focusing on what's directly in front of you. So my main encouragement is for you to speak about your vision. Talk about it. Talk about your vision. Recreate your vision in your mind. Go through different ways of how you can make it come to life. Um, talk about it. Write it down. Uh, don't be ashamed of it. Take pride in your vision and, and appreciate it. When I say appreciate it, of course, I mean add value to it. So increase your vision's worth, but also be grateful. Be grateful for your vision because everyone don't have one. There are a lot of people who are, um, you heard the phrase, the blind leading the blind. There are a lot of people who are aimlessly going through life. They don't really know what the end is for. Um, they don't really have hope. And I feel like hope is the best thing that we can have. You know, it's one of the best things we can have. So I want to encourage you to understand what your vision is, to not look too close, to not be discouraged on what's going on immediately or whatever your now moment is, but to understand that something else is coming down the line and is better for you. Right now may not be your time for whatever you definitely want super bad right now. I want so many things right now, but I understand that there's a process in between start, which is right now, and when it actually manifests, there's this stage in between where I can learn, I can appreciate, I can get to know, I can re-strategize, I can focus, I can value, I can do all these different things to get to my, my, my manifestation stage where it's ultimately going to be worth it. But it takes time. So don't look too close. Don't be short-sighted. Um, and remember that faith is the vision to understand what's coming down the road while being prepared for what's here right now. This has been another episode of React. Thank you for following. Please do like, share, comment, subscribe. Stay in tune for React. It's more to come.